Hospitals are the backbone of health systems. COVID-19 highlighted the need to strengthen hospital resilience. In order to manage emergencies, we need to have a resilient health system. And to have a resilient health system, we need to have a resilient hospital. Resilient hospitals are safe, environmentally sustainable, and responsive to community needs. And they also use up-to-date evidence and technologies. Resilient hospitals improve access, reduce vulnerabilities, fulfill essential public health functions, and leave no one behind. This ultimately contributes to universal health coverage, global health security, and healthier populations. It is important to prioritize actions that save lives, protect the investment, and to ensure the delivery of health services. Hospital managers and policymakers should know that hospital resilience does not start when the emergency starts. We need to strengthen hospitals' emergency care during normal times to ensure they function during crises. Hospital resilience occurs throughout all phases of emergency and disaster, prevention, preparedness, response, and recovery. It is really crucial to identify factors enhancing their absorptive, adaptive, transformative, and learning capacities. We need to plan to understand all the risks and hazards. We need to learn from the events, reflect on it, to prepare for the next one. Hospital resilience is associated with adaptability, agility, continuous learning and improvement. It requires multi-level interventions and a whole of society approach. Leadership, taking care of our people and making sure that they have the tools they need. We have developed a practical and easy to use hospital resilience operational guide. Strengthening hospital resilience contributes to WHO's mission and our regional vision, Health for All by All. WHO is committed to supporting its member states in the Eastern Mediterranean region to strengthen hospital resilience and build more resilient communities, health systems, and societies. 